Hi everybody, this is Pun, and I have a new video. I wanted to talk about RTX Voice and its integration with OBS version 27. Now, if you have not had a chance to try out OBS 27, you can download the release candidate from obsproject.com. You can download it, test it out for yourself, and then help OBS Project by reporting any bugs that are that you would encounter that you can then report to them they can fix before the public release comes out here, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. But one of the things they've added to this that we hopefully see on the public release is the noise suppression filter for RTX voice. Now, NVIDIA broadcast, you can download the audio effects SDK that is required to get this to work inside of OBS version 27. But once you get that, you now have all the glorious AI-based noise suppression that RTX Voice gives you. But there's also a little caveat to that that I will discuss in this video. So if you're interested in how to use RTX Voice and OBS, then stay tuned. Okay, so first well, you'll need to go to the NVIDIA website to download the broadcast SDK. I will provide a link down in the description below. What you're going to want to do is you're going to download one of these versions of audio effects. Now you have the 3000 series that you would need if you have a 3000 series RTX or if you have the older RTX 2000 series or what they're saying is the 10 series and the 16 series should also work with the 20 series SDK. So if you're in one of those groups, then you download uh, the SDK. Simply install it, and all it's going to do is run in the background. It's not really going to install an app, but it'll enable the ability to use this now inside of OBS Studio. So now let's go over and let's switch over to Stream PC, and we show you how you can add this into your microphone. Okay, so once you have the AudioFX SDK installed, you're gonna to wanna to go to your microphone and you're going to want to have this turned on. So to add the filter to your microphone is very easy. Click on the gear, go to filters, slide this over a little bit. And here I have a noise suppression filter. You just simply go to the plus sign, select noise suppression, name it whatever you want. And then you have noise suppression here. Now you have a couple options, but if you've installed the audio effects SDK properly, then you should have NVIDIA noise removal listed as one of your three options. So you have that there. You do have the amount of suppression that you want, one being 100%, zero being none, and now you have noise suppression added to your microphone. Okay, so now, as you can see, I have a fan right there, and I've got my mic set up, and let's go ahead and we will check the filter. So I have NVIDIA noise removal, noise suppression enabled, I have it turned on. So. There should be noise suppression. Now I'm going to stop talking for a second. Now I have a GTX 1660, just to let you know. So supposedly this is supposed to work with this card, but I have my doubts. So I'm going to stop talking and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so I have no filtering going on with my microphone other than the noise suppression. All of the other filters that I have set are disabled. So you do see a little bit of background noise in there. So what I've done is if you look here, I have mic two also. I'm going to unmute that. This, and let me show you what it is, is this is the RTX voice app that we've been using here for the past year or so since NVIDIA released it. Okay, that, pro, that what that does, is let me get rid of it here real quick. What the RTX voice does is it generates a virtual microphone that Windows then sees as a microphone that you can then, what you do is you would send your microphone into RTX voice app and then use the virtual microphone as your microphone in OBS. And that's what I've done here for mic too. So let's compare the two when I unmute this. And you can see that it is definitely doing a lot more noise suppression than what the built-in filter does. That's why I don't think that it really works for 10 series and 16 series cards, and it only works for RTX, despite what I've read across, like say Reddit and throughout Twitter. So anyway, just to let you know that we do have another option available and I will show you that now. All right, so now, Let's talk about another option we have available for those of us that do not have an RTX card inside of our stream PC or our game PC. 
So I'm going to mic here. I'm going to select filters. Let me bring the window down so you can see it. And I have selected RN noise, okay, instead of the NVIDIA noise removal. RN noise is also an AI-based noise suppression that came out within the last year or so, at least once the NVIDIA RTX uh, voice app came out. And it does a really good job. As a matter of fact, there's actually a VST plugin for this very noise suppression that you can use inside of a VST host and then run it through something like VoiceMaker, which works really well. But we also have it now in OBS in current versions. So you can test this out right now, if even if you're not using OBS version 27, which is really good. So I have a fan here, so I'm going to turn that on. Uh, both of these are enabled and should be working, and you should see, well, actually, let me do this. Let me turn the filter off here. I'm going to disable it, and you can see it's disabled. Little eyeball has got the line through it and grayed out, okay? And so then what I will do is I will turn the fan on, and you can kind of hear the difference between the two. Now, I have two tracks recording, so I can switch between the two, and you can kind of compare and then I will then turn the filter on for our end one. All right, so the fan is now running. You should be able to clearly hear it. And I will then stop talking so you can hear the fan running by itself, and then I'll switch between tracks. Okay, so now I'm just going to talk a little bit so you can kind of hear how well both noise suppressions do with trying to reject the fan noise in the background. Actually, let me turn the fan up a little bit more. Let's get this thing really going. So then you can really see how much this these have to work. And you'll notice some degradation in my voice. I do recommend you wear headphones for this, uh, but you might notice some degradation in the voice, a little bit of kind of a tinny kind of digital sound as this gets louder. You should be able to, you know, you might even be able to hear the fan while I'm talking, but while I'm not talking, you may not be able to hear the fan at all. So those are the kind of things you need to kind of compare between both of these to determine which one of these you want to use on your live stream. Now, this is an extreme scenario, you know, that or the hair dryer being blown or I've seen vacuum cleaners. Those are extreme scenarios, but those can happen. If you're in a space, you don't have air conditioning and you have to run a fan for cooling for yourself while you're live streaming, then this is obviously a great idea for you to use one of these types of noise suppressions. For someone who's in a, an acoustically treated room that doesn't have a lot of noise going on, you may not need to use a noise suppression like this. Or if you're in a room like me, that's kind of a hybrid between the two, you'll have an AC kick on something like that that may cause in, cause a little bit of low end rumble in your microphone. Uh, you know, the noise suppression will work great and you won't have as much degradation as you would with this because they're not trying to work as hard trying to remove that noise because it's a very subtle noise in the background as opposed to this that's blowing directly into my microphone right now. All right, that's it for the video guys. Listen, if you, you get OBS Studio 27, the art release candidate, or when it comes out in public release, and you have the ability to use the new RTX voice noise suppression, I, I recommend you do it. I think it's a really good AI-based noise suppression. But we already have RN noise inside of OBS Studio, which I think does at least as good, if not even better, than RTX voice. At least that's my opinion. But regardless, we have great noise suppression filters in OBS that we can now use to get rid of any unwanted, say, AC fan noise, any low end rumble that could cause some sort of muddiness in our vocal, which we do not want, okay? It also helps with mouse and keyboard clicks. Regardless, it's a great thing that OBS has given us options and that's really what it comes down to. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you did like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, but look, I would love to see you come back. Right now, 75% of you do not subscribe to my channel, but you watch my videos. I would love to see you come back, subscribe, be a regular member here on the TFS channel. Listen, I appreciate it regardless. Really do. Uh, your support's been great, and we're, we're real close to 20,000 uh, subscribers right now. I would love to see you be one of them. So anyway, make sure you hit subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Other than that, that's it, guys. I Listen, have a great weekend. Be safe out there. Enjoy life. I love you guys. We'll see you later.